When the patient comes back to have their final restoration cemented in place, you will need to have the crown and bridge cementation tray set up. For that tray, you will need your basic setup, which is your mirror, explorer, and cotton pliers. And you'll also need your spoon excavator. On this tray setup, the spoon excavator may be used to help spread the cement around on the inside of the restoration. You will still need your scaler. Your scaler will be helpful to remove dried cement from around the restoration. Your cement spatula to mix your cements. And your articulating paper and holder to check the bite. For your accessories, you will need your gauze and cotton rolls to help control moisture and to help isolate the teeth. You will need your floss to check the contact areas of the restoration. If it's a bridge, you will also need your floss threader to help get the floss underneath the pontic. And the burrs that you will need are your finishing burrs. These are porcelain extra oral finishing burrs. You may also want to include intraoral finishing burrs so that once the restoration is permanently cemented in the patient's mouth, the doctor can do final adjustments in the patient's mouth.